Hey, Sam. Samuel <coughs> Adam Merlin. Hello. Yes. How are you? I'm good, thank you. What's up with your inside look? I haven't seen the, uh, the video for a while. Yeah, so inside look, well, actually, funny you say that, it's coming back. Um, it went away for a bit. I think it was a bit too ambitious to try to do it every other week, but it'll be coming every once a month, at the beginning of every month, to show you behind the scenes look of what's going on here. And hopefully it's informative as well. So we want to teach you some stuff while you're at it. I think from the experience, I don't think I should keep my hope up, right? Uh, no, <laughs> keep your hopes very high. It's very gonna high, awesome. all right. It's going to be a great time. You know what else is a great time? Learning about focal lengths. So why don't we go and learn about that? Welcome. It is September 15th, uh, Friday, and tomorrow is Medfield Day. In the past week, we've been working really hard on getting ready for Medfield Day. That's Olivia. This is our booth. Um, and it is currently all folded up, so you can't really see it. You can see some of the decorations popping out here. So at the beginning of the week, Brett and I, Brett, who is behind the camera, uh, we put this tent up. And we put up these little black curtain things. They are 99 cent tablecloths from Ann and Hope. And then we got some decorations and yesterday, Rachel went crazy putting them up and made it look really awesome. You mean you don't want the sound of my beat going dingling wing? No. Also, we made some signs for Medfield Bay. Nice uh, glittery and whatnot, catch your eyes, welcome. And her here, these were Rachel's signs that she made. I made signs too. These signs will be kind of outside of our booth advertising that you can follow us on our social media. Also down here we got our um, channel numbers for public education and government. Take a good look at those because you're going to need to memorize them for when you want to watch the greatest and latest on Medfield TV. But if you don't have time to tune into our channels, well, you always are free to check us out anytime. Our programming is all on our YouTube, which we're letting people know about. And by the way, you should subscribe so that you can always be up to date. And I'm just going to sit here a bit longer and wait for you to pause the video, scroll down a bit, and hit the subscribe button. And I've got all day so I can keep waiting. All right. Did you hit it? Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. Also hit that notification bell because that really helps. We got these cool shirts that we're going to be giving away. We got about, how many of them we got? A hundred. A hundred shirts. So hopefully we have people come to our booth. Kids and adult sizes. Kids and adult sizes so that we can give these away to just about everyone who wants one. We got plenty. So come on down. Give us a spin. Show us the back. That's so, right. This backside right here was the idea of the one behind the camera, Brett Poirier. He came up with this great idea, having the, uh, the Medfield outline 02052, our zip code. The front, by the way, this was by Medfield's own Sean Cruikshank, a friend of mine and a fellow alum of the class of 2015. And so I uh, thank you to him and hopefully we'll see more of his designs coming to Medfield soon, maybe. I don't know. You never know. I'll do another spin, because why not? Look how amazing these shirts are. I know you want one. I know you want one. I know you want one. Come on, give me a hug. <laughs> hug this shirt. Hug this shirt. <laughs> I know you want it. Uh, I <laughs> <end> this now. <laughs> focal length. What is focal length? Well, with my beautiful drawing of a camera right here and this diagram, I will explain what focal length is. Uh, let me explain this diagram first though, because it's not the best. This right here, this is your lens. And then I have a body of a camera, as well as the sensor inside. Now for those of you who don't know what a camera sensor is, it's what the light hits once it enters the camera. 
and then the sensor takes that information and creates it into an actual digital image. How light enters your camera? It goes like this. It crosses, or converges, as we like to call this, the point of convergence. Now if you were to measure from here to your camera sensor, that is your focal length. Now when you hear people talking about lenses, they often describe lenses in terms of lengths, millimeters, focal lengths. So we hear oftentimes terms like 24 millimeters, 50 millimeters, 85 millimeters. They're all talking about the focal length of that lens. So I'm gonna lay out a basic scale for you. Now this scale is a very simplified version of how to categorize lenses by focal lengths. And I just want people to understand that you can break it down into many more categories, but this is the basics. You start in the middle, 50 millimeters. This is your standard lens. This is essentially what the human eye sees. It's the equivalent to your human eye. Now anything below 50 millimeters, these are wide-angle lenses. Anything above 50 millimeters, and you have telephoto lenses. Now, the difference between wide-angle lenses and telephoto lenses is this. Wide angles, they stretch your image out. They make objects and subjects in your scene seem further and more distant from each other. When it comes to telephoto lenses, it does the exact opposite. It condenses your image and makes objects and subjects in your scene seem closer together. Now, I can explain this more and more just by talking or using diagrams and scales, but I think a better way to get an understanding of this is if I just show you. So let's go and take a look at that. Are you excited for tomorrow? I'm very excited for tomorrow. I'm gonna put on my hosting pants and see how I do. <laughs> it's gonna be a sweet game show. We got some good trivia questions and Obviously a sweet prize for people to win, so. Adults and kids, come on in, try your best. I don't even know. Yeah. Are you excited, Tom? Do I look excited? <laughs> <laughs> Medfield Day. It was an absolute success. What we wanted to do was do a game show. We wanted to give away some t-shirts, get some people to scream Medfield TV. We nailed it in every account. It was awesome. And you can see this place is absolutely beautiful. Um, the whole crew was involved. Everyone decided that we wanted to do this and it took everyone to do it. What was crazy was this morning we showed up with this idea that we were gonna pop this out as we be done. We had to rebuild the whole thing when we showed up here. So the whole thing had to get redone, but we got it finished and it has been absolutely lights out the best thing in this area. People have been pouring in to do the game show. We gave out all 100 t-shirts. People were getting double XLs. People were getting any t-shirt they wanted. Uh, they got nightgowns at this point, but we gave them all away. I had a ton of fun. I think Medfield had a ton of fun, and this was absolutely the best Medfield day I could ask for. So Medfield TV crushed Medfield day today. These shirts, they went like crazy. We had 100 of them, now we got zero. Well, we each, we each got one, so I guess we got four right now. But we handed out the rest of them, and that was very successful, and we'd like to thank everyone who came to our booth for coming by. Thank you so much. I'm watching. I'm watching. And yeah, hopefully next year it's even better. We'll make sure to bring more shirts. So come back next year.
don't want to guarantee that we don't know what we're doing next year. That's true. I actually don't know what we're doing next year. But it will be, it will hopefully be cool and awesome. So you guys should definitely come back. Oh, we might have not. shirts. <laughs> That was pretty good. So here we have a scene with Hong framed in a medium shot and Rachel lurking in the background. They're approximately 20 feet apart and here's what it would look like to your naked eye. We have a 50 millimeter lens on. But now when we switch to a 24 millimeter wide angle lens and move the camera forward to keep Hong in that medium shot framing, notice how they seem further and more distant from each other. They are still 20 feet apart but because of the lens, that distance has increased within the frame of the video. But when we switch to a telephoto lens, 85 millimeters, and move the camera back, Rachel appears to be just mere steps behind Hong. And again, neither Hong nor Rachel have moved. They're still 20 feet apart. It is simply the lens and the position of the camera changing the perspective of the scene. This can be used to convey different emotions and feelings within your scene. For instance, with a 24 millimeter, the two feel distant and isolated from each other. Perhaps they just had an argument and are no longer on speaking terms. Contrast that with the 85 millimeter shot, and it seems as if Rachel is encroaching on Hong's space. Wait, hold on a sec, I think I got an idea. Here, take these. Now the murderous Rachel is encroaching on Hong's space and moving in for the kill. The telephoto lens condenses them into this tight space creating this tense emotion and feeling. A mistake many beginners make is approaching focal lengths as simply a tool to zoom with. And while that is a big part of focal lengths, there is so much more to them, as hopefully I've demonstrated today. Now, if you want to get some practice with focal lengths, I would advise approaching a scene with a specific focal length in mind, one that you think will best suit what emotion and mood you're trying to capture. This opposed to pointing your camera and just using the zoom to frame up your shot. Move your feet around, explore the best way to get your shot. I highly advise using prime lenses or non-zoom lenses, lenses that are stuck at one focal length. This forces you to think more about the focal length you choose and how to best frame your shot with the positioning of your camera. And I promise you, if you stop just pointing your camera and framing it up with the zoom and start thinking more about what specific focal length you're using for a specific scene or photo, your pictures and video will be taken to the next level. Very welcome. Oh. Why didn't I wear short in the, this morning? I know, it's so hot today. You and I, Sam. <laughs> My legs are all sweaty. I shouldn't say that to the camera. <laughs> Cut that out. Cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> Here's Brett. Guess who's back? Brett's back. Alright, start loading up. Open the trunk. Oh. <laughs> Open the trunk. <laughs> interested in what gear I used for this episode, when demonstrating focal length, I was using my Panasonic Lumix GH4. It's a micro four-thirds sensor, and also the great thing is that the lenses we have here at the studio are micro four-thirds as well. They're beautiful Rokinon Cine lenses T1.5s. We've got 24, 35, 50, and 85 mm. Um, for those interested in knowing more about lenses or any visual media questions you may have that we can answer, feel free to comment below, uh, comment on our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Hopefully we can answer them in the next episode, which will be on November 1st. Remember, Inside Look, new episode at the beginning of every month. I actually just want to say thanks to everyone who showed up to our Medfield Day booth. It was awesome. You probably got a sweet t-shirt. Uh, it was a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you catch us on our education channel. It's Comcast 12 Verizon 36. Or you can watch us on YouTube and every other social media website that we have. You guys, thank you so much for watching.